Hey guys, how you doing? It's us and Saz here, and I'm finally bringing you my first Modern Warfare Remastered video. Now today we're going to be looking at which starting assault rifle is better, the AK-47 or the M4A1. This is going to be the first video in a new series I'm doing where I'm going to be taking two very similar guns and putting them head to head to see which gun's actually better. Now before we start, I'm going to have to first establish some criteria for how we're going to decide which of these guns are actually the best gun. There's five criteria that I'm going to be looking at. Two of them are the main criteria, so they're going to be worth two points each, and the others are going to be worth one point each. Now the first criteria we're going to be looking at is the time to kill, and this is going to incorporate the damage of the gun as well as the rate of fire, which is going to make it a lot easier to compare between the guns. The other criteria worth two points is going to be the recoil. I think that the time to kill and the recoil are the main factors of what make a gun good or not, so both of these are going to be the main factors over which gun's going to win. The final three factors are each worth one point, and that's because they don't really make a gun good. They are going to help, but having these three factors alone is not enough to say that one gun is better than the other. Now without further ado, let's get straight into it. The AK-47 in Modern Warfare Remastered deals 40 damage up close and 30 damage at a distance. This is actually quite high damage for a fully automatic assault rifle in the game. Because of these damage numbers, it's going to take between 3 to 4 shots to kill. Factoring in the rate of fire of 705 rounds per minute gives us a time to kill of between 0.255 seconds and 0.426 seconds. Now let's have a look at the M4A1. The M4A1 does 30 to 20 damage, 30 at a close range and 20 at a distance, which means that it takes 4 to 5 shots to kill. The rate of fire of 857 rounds per minute means that this gun has a time to kill of between 0.280 seconds and 0.350 seconds, making it better than the AK-47 at long range but worse at close range. Now because the time to kill of the M4A1 is only 0.025 seconds longer than the AK-47 at close range, and at long range the time to kill is nearly one tenth of a second less, I'm going to give the time to kill to the M4A1. So now let's move on to the recoil. Both the AK-47 and the M4A1 have really good recoil in this game, it's very low and it's very manageable. The AK-47 might seem to have high recoil just based on the kick that the gun gives, but if you actually look at the bullet spread, they're very similar, and because of this reason, I'm going to have to call this one a tie. Now onto our less important criteria, but still very nice to have on a gun, we have the iron sights. Now personally, both of these iron sights are very usable for me, I think they're both pretty good, you can see your target quite clearly, and it doesn't block too much of the screen. But I'm going to have to go with the AK-47 for this one. I think the open design at the top makes it slightly easier to see someone and easier to track your targets as well. And I just overall like this iron sight a lot more. Now onto the magazine size. Both of these guns have 30 bullets in the magazine. This is very common for these older style Call of Duties where you have 30 bullets or 20 bullets. There's no really in between. You don't really have 26 bullets in a gun or 34 or 33 or anything like that. So 30 is pretty decent. Obviously there's no difference between the two so this is going to be a tie as well. Now moving on to the last criteria, we have the reload speed. The reload speed of the AK-47 is 2.5 seconds and the M4A1 is 2.03 seconds. Now both of these times are for when you have bullets left in your clip and for when the gun is completely empty, the AK-47 will reload in 3.25 seconds whereas the M4A1 will reload in 2.36 seconds. So as you can see, the M4A1 reloads faster in both scenarios which gives this category to the M4A1. Now that we've gone through all the categories, we can tally up all the points and we'll see that the M4A1 is sitting on 6 points and the AK-47 is on 4 points, meaning that the M4A1 is our winner. Now this doesn't mean that the AK-7 is not good, I actually like the AK-47 a lot. If you can get used to the gun kicking a lot, even though it doesn't have much recoil, you actually do really well with this gun. And I have been using this a lot and it's one of my favourite guns in the game. The M4A1 is a lot better at a distance, I think though. The time to kill is a lot faster. There's no recoil and there's no kick as well, which makes it a lot easier to track targets at that long range. But anyway, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you do, please be sure to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. If you want to see more of these videos, I've got a lot of them coming. I've got some for Infinite Warfare coming as well, so be sure to click that subscribe button. And if you have a suggestion of two guns that you want to see go head to head, leave that in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and that this helps you out a little bit. But anyway, my name is Austin Size. Stay fresh and I'll see you guys later.